Hey, what's up, everybody? I just did a video on the Verizon G3 getting Android 5.0. So I thought I'd do a video on the Nexus 6, which just got Android 5.1. Now, this is a custom ROM. I am using Chroma, and this is a pretty awesome ROM. I am also using Lean Kernel, and I watched Xenomax's video because I didn't know if there was any 5.1 ROMs out, and he said that he used Lean Kernel. So I was like, it comes with Franco, which I've I have the Franco Kernel app, like I donated and everything, but I thought I'd give Lean Kernel a try since I use that, you know, previously on my other phones, and here we are. So if we go up, like everything is pretty much stock, like all that. This does have all the Android 5.1 goodness, but if we go to status bar, you can change your battery icons. You see, I kept it clean, simple. I just left the battery percentage in the little icon. Now as for the clock and date. I prefer like knowing what like day it is, like 319, because at work I need that. So I leave that up there with the time and everything. Brightness control is really handy when you're outside. Double tap to sleep, I use that all the time because the power button and the volume rocker on this phone, they are just way too easy to press. I don't know why it bothers me coming from a G3. I still think the G3, like the buttons on the back are still a lot better than this. But the show notification count, if I had my emails up there, it'd be like it'd be like a little number 10 next to them or something. Showing the weather and then the clock widget. The weather, see if we pull this down, is, see it says 80, 80 degrees. And yes, it is hot in Jacksonville. Now, quick settings. You see we can't scroll up anymore. It's kind of disappointed that I guess they still have to implement that. I'm not exactly sure, but we do have to wait. Now, the clock widget, I'd never mess with their clock widget because that's like at the CM clock I don't I don't like it I'm sorry navigation bar all I did was change the like the height of it I changed it to 44 instead of 48 so it takes up less screen real estate now to clear all recents see for presses it's at the top with a little X and you know it just works now the kill out back button because yes if you are running you know software like I do you do need that because apps do freeze all the time and you need to hold that or you just wait for it to force close and it gets pretty annoying so you know there's that but let's go back power menu there's not really much to do here I just added the screenshot option so it's there and the volume rocker I do not have it to wake up the phone because like I said these buttons are way too e easy to press I don't know why but playback control my Jaybird Blue Bloods X, they have the, you know, where I can change the tracks on them, play and pause and all that. Volume key adjust sound. No one wants to hear peeping when you adjust your volume. And then volume key swap. I hate that. Like, it's it's nice sometimes, but when someone takes your phone and they try to turn it down or something like that and it goes up and it bothers me. So let's go ahead and go back and for... You know, other stuff. Let's go into display. You do have the rotation, the wake on charge. I think the wake on charge is a 5.1 thing. I'm not quite sure, but um, not really anything here. You do have the LED light turned on. It says that it pulses, but it doesn't. Like, I don't understand why. It just stays a solid color. Um, I don't know if that affects battery life or anything. I prefer like the ambient display since it is an AMOLED and you know, blacks and whites and whatnot. But we do have the multi-user. Um, this does have the new security thing where if you do do a factor reset, like someone does that, it still requires your password even afterwards. Oh God. But it still requires your password afterwards so they can't log in. Which, wow, that's staying up there for a long time. I think it's kind of funny. Um, for apps that it includes, it includes absolutely nothing. It, it didn't even come with a browser. Because I didn't have the Android 5.1G apps. And I couldn't install the 5.0G apps because it kept giving me an error. It didn't even come with a browser so that I could do any type of search. It came with like the basic functionality of a phone. The calculator, I think it came with the calendar, it came with the clock, the phone. Like it, it had like maybe eight apps installed. So there's that. So you want to make sure you have all the files before installing it or you know if you're like me and you just have another phone or a computer, but you'll be okay. Um, but other than that, I am using Nova Launcher. I don't really like, you know, the 
like I like to customize my stuff but this has all the stock features so you see if you press this it does open up the little thing you can go to more settings see my Bluetooth um, it done there and also like the little icons are different see like the little line and auto rotate you know it does all the little stuff that people showed in the video I think that's kind of cool you may not like it I really wish the location was up here where like you know you could choose which location you wanted instead of just start turning it on and off hotspot I am waiting for them to add the quick toggles like so you can edit these where you can have four per row because this screen is big enough like you don't need to have three in a row because the icon is way too big I mean even for my fingers and my fingers are pretty big so there's that um yeah the battery life on this I unplugged this last night and um I plugged this last night what time I don't know like 10 o'clock maybe and I didn't go to bed at like 6 a.m. and then I got up at 2 and my battery was like 80 percent so there's there's that like if you're wondering how good battery life is um, I have been using the hotspot I guess I accidentally turned it off I do kind of like how it shows up on the top right instead of the top left you know just a little minor thing but everything else is pretty much stock lollipop I mean I don't really know what else to say um if you guys want to see anything like a different ROM or did I if I miss something go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll try to get to that but if you guys like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video